This video will show how to open a channel on the Bitcoin Lightning Network. Uh, and I'm also going to show how to use this loop out service, which is a cool way to get some inbound liquidity. Normally when you open a channel, uh, all of your balance is on the local side, um, which means you can send money out, but nobody can send money into you. Now you can send money through your channel out to other people and some of that balance will shift to the remote, but that requires spending money. So the loop service provides a way to get that remote balance and inbound liquidity without spending anything other than some uh, fees for the service. So to start off, I'm going to uh, open a new channel and make a peer to do that. Uh, a good way to find peers is to go to 1ml.com and uh, it gives rankings for different uh, nodes out there in the Lightning Network telling you how many channels they have, the capacity, how much money is active on them, and how long they've been alive. So I'm going to copy this Fold uh, public key. Fold is a service that lets you buy uh, gift cards and things with Bitcoin, so it's pretty popular and well connected. You can see here it had uh, almost a million dollars in its capacity. So I'll add the peer. Um, I think I accidentally copied some white space characters, so I'll delete those first. So it detected that it's named fold, it's connected, and now I can open a channel. So I've got um, on chain, I've got about 400,000 sats. I'm going to try to open a channel for that total amount. And then I'm going to choose a fee of, uh, well, let's see. Uh, if you go to mempool.space, you can see uh, the fee is for the latest blocks. Um, and you can click in one of these. They give you some predictions for how many sats per byte you need to get in in the next block and then within a day. So here you can see what this cost is. If it's um, 91 sats per byte, you know, a typical transaction will cost six or seven dollars and going up from there. So I'm gonna try 50 sats per byte. I can wait a little bit. So I'll go back here, type in my fee, and then hit open channel. So I need to have enough uh, left over to pay for the fee, whatever that's going to be. So I'll drop this down to 370,000. Let's try that. Oh, so to connect to the fold service, I need a minimum of uh, 0.05 BTC, which is, I believe, 500,000 uh, sats. So I don't have enough to connect to them. I don't believe. 1ML tells you any minimum channel sizes. I think you only find this out after you try to connect. So let's go find another service to connect to or node. So another thing I can do, and this helped me actually get a successful loop transaction through, was to look up the loop server and then find a node that's already connected to it. So let's try this LN big 09, LND 09. All right, that was successful. So now the channel isn't going to be confirmed open until you can see here it's under pending until that on-chain transaction completes. And if I go into my on-chain part of the Ride the Lightning wallet, we can see my transaction that I just initiated which has zero confirmation. So I'm going to be waiting on this one to get my channel open. 
Okay, about three and a half hours later, I have an open channel. You can see active four channels. My on-chain balance is almost down to zero. My lightning balance went up to almost a million. And here you see my little channel capacity graphs that show that channel I just opened with Ellen Big has all of the sats, 347,000 on the local side and zero on the remote. So if this was my only channel, no one could send me any money. I need to get some of that local balance on the remote side. And to do that, we're gonna try to use this uh, loop tool. And um, one thing you can do to try to force it to happen on a specific channel is if you go into your um, channel list here under the lightning tab, um, I can actually select loop out under my drop down menu. And it looks like the minimum amount that the loop service will uh, provide is 250,000 sats, so I'll go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to leave all the defaults here, and then we'll do an estimate quote. So the swap fee is actually um, pretty low. The fee is just to route things and uh, are, is a little higher. There is a prepayment amount. This is pre this is part of a way to prevent um, uh, denial of service attacks um, against the server, I believe. So let's keep going. I'll use my local node address so I don't have to type in an external address. So what's going to happen is it's going to send out 250,000 sats via lightning and then the loop server is going to send that back on chain so it'll be sending money out off chain and back in on chain and in the end I'll have a remote balance and more money in my on chain balance so let's try so initiating it um, doesn't take very long but I've learned in the past this does not mean it was necessarily successful so this state just hung and initiated for sometimes up to a half an hour before it flipped to failed in a lot of these other transactions. And what's happening in the background is that it's attempting to find routes to send that 250,000 sats to the loop server. So I'm gonna show you two ways to sort of track the progress. If you go into your transactions under lightning, okay, if you go under sorry, under peers and channels, and you go to active HTLCs, I believe you'll see something active here when it actually finds a route and starts sending. And let me refresh this. Yep, okay, see? So now it's, um, this is a good sign. It, I think it means it's uh, actually finding a route. Let's go back into transactions to see if anything's here. Okay, it looks like it's not showing under the transactions, but it you can see it under this uh, active HTLCs. And if I go back here, just refresh this. So it still says initiated. So while I was trying to understand well why a lot of these other ones were failed, I learned some. Um, command line logs you can look at. So I'll go back to my node home, go to status, open up my Linux terminal that's run right from the web browser. Okay, I'm first going to switch over to the LND directory. And then I'm going to take a look at the log file for LND. And here we can see um, failed to find a route for payment, unable to find a path to destination. This is what I had happen to me uh, and a lot of my other previous attempts. So it's just going to sit here and keep attempting to find a route um, for about a half an hour before it flips to failed in this uh, status here. Let's go back to here to see if we're, we've had any other luck. 
payment with hash blah failed incorrect payment details so let's see if that actually shows up as failed here in my loop history oh yep failed now let's see if we get any information so the good thing is if it fails you don't pay anything and if I go into my uh, channels I no longer have any active HTLCs so that um, yep and then all my sats are back in my local balance for this channel again okay so we failed to send out through this channel, Ellen Big, I'm gonna try and send out through bit refill and we'll hit next. See what happens. Here we go. So I'll go to the loop tab and I've got another one initiated. And then if I go back to this thing, I'll see, yep, my um, my balance used to be on bit refill 500 some thousands and now it's uh, only 373,000. LND log. Looks like there's another failed to find route for payment. One of the strange things to me is that it can take quite a while for a loop out to fail, even if it's just failing on the off chain or lightning side of things, which normally with the lightning payment, it tells you right away it can't find a route to destination. The uh, loop out service seems to want to try again and again for half an hour. Okay, here I am about a half an hour later and that uh, loop out attempt has also failed. Okay, so again it said failed incorrect payment details. I'm going to try just using a command line to see if this is a problem with my Ride the Lightning version. Paste in this command, I'm gonna do the minimum, which is 250,000. And I'll just say I'm willing to spend quite a bit more in my max swap routing fee. This is the the lightning fees I'm willing to pay. Let's make that 10,000. So here it gives me a quote. Expand feed detail. Max on-chain sweep fee. That seems a little steep. A million sats. Let's see if I can increase this to 100 blocks for how fast I want the on-chain to be confirmed. 306,000 sats for the on-chain sweep fee. That still seems a little steep. Oh, okay, the max on-chain sweep fee is 109,000 sats, but the estimated sweep fee is only 1099. Let's set this to 300. So this is saying it might, might be a on-chain sweep fee of up to 161,000, but hopefully not. Let's just see what happens. Continue swap. Swap initiated. Then I can do loop monitor to monitor the progress. So here's my previous attempts that have failed. Um, you can see uh, reason off chain means it couldn't find a route to send the lightning to the loop server, I believe. My loop page, I'll see another initiated loop out. That loop out command I just issued is trying to go through my Ellen Big channel. I think you can specify what channel you want with the command line. You can see the full commands uh, in the official GitHub loop page. Okay, it looks like there's progress. My status has gone from uh, initiated to pre-image revealed. So let's see what that looks like in Ride the Lightning. I no longer have any active HTLCs. Let's go down to the loop pre-image revealed. So I think this means that my node has detected that they have initiated a transaction um, on chain. And so I've revealed the, um, I think pre-image that lets them claim the Satoshis that were sent on the uh, Lightning Network. So if we go to on chain, now I've got, yep, I've got an uh, unconfirmed balance of 248,000. So as soon as that actually gets confirmed, um, this whole transaction should be complete. I'm guessing, let's look in my channels. Yeah, I've already got my remote balance over here. Oh, nope, 
on Ellen Big. Yeah, I've got 250,000 in my remote balance. So I now have 250,000 of inbound liquidity. As far as the loop server is concerned, this transaction is complete. They've already initiated the transaction to send me that those funds um, on chain. So here's the two uh, off chain transactions. It was I sent 250,000. It got split into 220 and 30,000. That got sent out. We can see how it got there. It went from Ellen Big to Block Damon to Loop to this kind of unknown uh, node. And then if I go to on chain, let's see. So here's uh, 250,000 with zero confirmations. So this is the transaction that was sent to me from the uh, Loop server. Uh oh, so this looks like uh, they only set it for 11 sats per byte. Um, this will probably take more than a week to clear. And to review what I did here, I tried to use the Ride the Lightning interface, but then I was getting some fail, failure reason off-chain, which means it couldn't get a Lightning payment out to the, the loop server. And if I look back over these logs, there's a lot of failed found route for payment, and then eventually failed to find a path to destination. And then there's this incorrect payment details, which could be something that ride the lightning isn't sending the correct command eventually i got it to work by just executing the loop command manually with this now it is important that you include this max swap routing fee i think the default is zero so that'll definitely fail one other thing you can do to try to see if your loop out will be successful is to go into this transactions query routes feature and uh, type in the loop public key and query a route to it. So I, I went to 1ml.com and I typed in loop. I'm gonna grab the public key, paste that in here, and then type in 250,000 sats, the minimum. Again, you need to type in the actual amount you're using because the larger the amount, the harder it is to find a route through the Lightning Network because you need channels that are big enough to route that payment. So I'll click query routes here and as you see here, there are a full nine nodes in between me and the loop server, which probably means there's a low likelihood that this is going to work. Uh, one thing I mentioned before is that you can open up a channel to a node that's a little bit closer to the loop node to have a better chance of success. I hope this video helped. In summary, we set up a new channel, but the problem with new channels is you don't have any inbound liquidity, which is really important if you or a merchant and want people to be able to send you lightning to pay for stuff. Uh, we tried to use the loop out service a few times through ride the lightning software, but um, ran into problems either finding a route or potentially because the ride the lightning software wasn't sending the right information. I had that incorrect payment details error a few times. And finally we sent it out through the command line. Um, lightning is still pretty new. The network is getting more connected every day, but right now you'll often run into issues of not being able to find a route, but hopefully changes in the software and also more connectedness will help that in the future. Let me know if I made any mistakes and uh, if you have any questions. Thanks.